Gangai Kondo Sora from second part. It's really a marvel. It is uh, visited by so many people and uh, it is included in UNESCO site. In Tamil Nadu, we used to have only two places Mahapalipuram and uh, Tanjay Periya Koyal, Raja Rajan Koyal, one, two masterpieces and two UNESCO sites. I just learned recently that, uh, yeah, I just learned that two other places are included now in UNESCO sites. That is, this is place Gangai Kondo Sorapuram and uh, Dara Sorum. It's very nearby. In fact, I'm going to visit tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tao, in front of uh, uh, Gangai Kodo Sora from Lord Shiva's temple. And uh, it was made 11th century. And the Nandi, the bull, the sacred bull, symbolizes the eternal waiting part for the Lord. Nandi is so patient and he knows that his Lord Shiva is inside and he's going to come out. Of course he's going to come out one day and it is worth that he waits for eternity. So such a beautiful symbolism, waiting for the Lord, your lover, a devotee waiting for the, his beloved. That defines the human and uh, God relationship. So beautifully. Ganga Ikunta Sora from built in 11th century by Rajendra Sora, the son of Raja Raja Sora, who was the builder of the great temple Tanjavur, the Chola dynasty. Temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. That is Lord Shiva and Parvati. Blessing Rajendra Sora. Son of Raja Raja the Great, who built the Tanjavur Great Temple. And son Rajendra has done a marvelous job of building this beautiful Gangai Konda Sora from Temple, dedicated in the 11th century AD. Such an exquisite art. And the artist has taken probably couple of decades to complete this beautiful sculpture. Parvati, so beautiful. And uh, plenty of ornaments on her head. Eyes decorated, painted, jewelry. Everything is about her is beautiful. And Lord Shiva creator of the universe, not only creating and he is wishing the creatures good luck and he grants boon blessings. Choras were great devotees of Lord Shiva and uh, they had so many poets living in their courtyard upper Sundarar, so many poets, they sang poems about Lord Shiva. They are known as Nayanmas, I think 60 or 63 Nayanmas, great devotees of Lord Shiva and they wrote so many poems and they sang their praises. Again, it's a beautiful sculpture. I mean, Gangai Kondo Sora from Tia Kumbakonam, a temple dedicated to Lord Shiva, 
built by Raja Raja, son Rajendra Soda. 1100 AD, it was dedicated. Just I'm going to zoom a little bit at the northeastern gate of the temple. Just opposite to the Lord Shiva and Parvati, there's a beautiful statue of another goddess. I don't know what is the name. Looks like Saraswati, I don't know. Very pretty sculpture. Very pretty. Wow, these Indians are great. These Indians are talented and they are gifted. And uh, these sculptures, they speak and they are the testimony on stone, frozen forever for the future generations. These cultures bring so much of income to the government and give support and sustenance to our people. Lots of business locally, lots of people drive cars, transportation sector, and our ancestors, whether they think, whether they thought, or whether they wished, but they have invested so much of infrastructure for the future generations to sustain themselves. This is Dwara Palaka, one who guards the entrance. There are two of them. One is here, I'm going to zoom right here. The other Dwara Palaka is right here. Left inside is, I think, Saraswati. You zoom in, you zoom in, you zoom in, and you come this side. This is Lord Shiva and Parvati and Rajendra Sora. Thank you.